Hello, family. Today I'm going to tell you a wonderful story by Shel Silverstein, and it's called The Giving Tree. According to Wikipedia, Uncle Shelby is known for his cartoons, songs, and children's books. His books have been translated into more than 30 languages and have sold more than 20 million copies. He was the recipient of Grammy Awards and Oscars. But I do not think you care about Grammy or Oscars, so we will skip that part. This story is about a tree and her friend who was a young boy. They were very good friends, and every day they would play together. Sometimes the boy would climb up the trunk of the tree and sit on her branches and swing from them. And when the tree bore fruit, the boy would pick apples from it and eat them. Sometimes the boy would hide behind the rocks, and the tree would search for him with the help of her branches, making it a game of hide-and-seek. When the boy would get tired, he'd sit under the tree and take a good rest. The boy loved the tree very much, and the tree loved him back. This made the tree very happy, but as time went by and the boy grew older, he stopped coming to play with the tree. The tree felt very lonely because there was no one to play with her and she missed her friend dearly. Then one day, after a very long time, the boy came back to the tree. He was grown into a young man and the tree was happy to see him again. The tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk. You can swing from my branches and eat my apples and you can play in my shade and be happy again. But the boy said, I have grown too big to climb up your trunk and play with you. He said that now he wants money so he could buy things that will make him happy. So he asked the tree, Do you have money? Can you give me some money? I am sorry, said the tree. I don't have money, but I have fruits. The tree asked the boy to take her apples and sell them in the market so that he can make some money and be happy. So the boy did as he was told. He climbed up her trunk, gathered all her apples, and carried them away. This made the tree very happy. A long time went by, and the boy did not return. Then one day the boy came back. He was grown into a man now. The tree was so happy to see him again. So the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk. You can swing from my branches and be happy again. But the boy said, I am too busy to climb trees now. He said that now he wants a house where he can live, and he wants a wife and children. So he asked the tree, Do you have a house? Can you give me a house? The tree said, I don't have a house. But the tree said that he can cut off her branches and use them to make a house for himself and be happy. So the boy cut off all her branches and carried them away to build himself a house. This made the tree very happy. The boy did not come back for a very long time. Then one day he returned to the tree, and now he was grown into an old man. The tree was happy to see him again. The tree then said, Come, boy, come and play. But the boy said, I am too old and sad to play. He said that he wants a boat now so that he could sail far away. So he asked the tree, Do you have a boat? Can you give me a boat? The tree said that he can cut down her trunk and make himself a boat so that he can sail away and be happy again. So the boy cut down her trunk, made a boat from it, and sailed away. After a very long time, the boy came back again. He was a very old man now. The tree said, I am sorry, I have nothing left to give you, she said. All my apples are gone now. To which the boy replied, My teeth are too weak to eat apples anyway. The tree said, All my branches are gone now. The boy said, I am too old to swing on them anyway. The tree then said, My trunk is gone too. The boy replied, I am too tired to climb anyway. The tree felt sorry and wished that she had something more to give to the boy. I am just an old stump now, said the tree. The boy replied, But I just want a place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. So the tree said, An old stump makes a very good place to sit and rest. Come, boy, sit down and rest. The young boy, who was a very old man now, sat down on the stump of the old tree, and this made the tree very happy. Let us pause here so that we can think about the giving tree. The tree here gives and gives and gives, 
never expecting anything in return, never asking for her due, never reminding the boy of all she has sacrificed. And that's the end. But I would advise you to buy this book and read it on your own. Link to buy this book is below. And if you loved this story, please like and subscribe to our channel.